against the number one defensive team and the defensive player of the year, and B put up 51 12. All right. And, and here, here goes the thing. It's just it's just it's just time to stop <laughs> around and pussy fitting around and just let's just stop BSing around, okay? He he's the best center in the league. And he's the best player in the league. I was I was going to save this of in a couple weeks here. Don't save anything. But I'm going to just the, empty the clip. I'm going to go ahead, yeah, I'm going to go ahead right now, man, cuz my guy Embiid has had a huge night tonight. Okay, he went up against the number one defensive team in the Minnesota Timberwolves. They have two seven-footers, and they have uh, Rudy Gobert, who is the odds-on favorite right now. He's so much the favorite to be the defensive player of the year that it's just a lock. Already? Already. 25, 26 That's the type games of, into the year? Yeah, he's, a, he's the type of person where his um, his defensive metrics, he, he's, he's, he's the, his game is just friendly for defensive metrics. Okay? So he's going to win a defensive player of the year award, and he's already has, like, what, two or three of them. Already, Rudy Gobert. I just like the year when he cried. So that was my favorite, Rudy. Um, against the number one defensive team and the defensive player of the year, and B put up 51, 12. All right. And, and here, here goes the thing. It's just, it's just, it's just time to stop shitting around and pussy fitting around and just let's just stop BSing around, okay? He, he's the best center in the league, and he's the best player in the league. And it's it's and I and I I understand that you guys have this infinity with with guys who are on better teams, and you you guys tell me James Harden is a terrible player and a terrible guy and a terrible human being, but but when he's with Embiid, Embiid is 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 is, is judged upon that as as as, he, as if he should win. And win big and get to the finals and win with the guy that you guys tell me is terrible. You guys tell me Ben Simmons is bad and who God knows when the last time he even played an NBA you, game. You tell everybody. Ben is Simmons is he still bad. in the NBA? Okay, uh, I don't know. What is I don't know. I don't see him anywhere. But but Joel Embiid is 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 required to win and win big and win championships with this guy. Okay, teams matter, but this guy is taking his game to such such an unchartered level. We just haven't seen it. We haven't seen a guy play the game of basketball as we see in the day. You guys tell me Shaquille O'Neal is the most dominant player ever, okay? But Shaquille O'Neal had never averaged 30 points in the season. Look it up. That's what you guys tell me. Oh, he's so dominant. He killed everybody back then. I, what that? I don't that thirty. I don't know. Guys were scoring thirty points back then. This is not a new thing. This is not a two thousand twenty three thing where guys are averaging thirty points a game. Shaq never did it in the in the in regular seasons. Okay, but you that's what you guys tell me. And this guy is averaging thirty. Damn it, basically thirty five a game. After this after this game, he's averaging thirty four five now. After this game, he's going to be thirty five. He's averaging thirty five, uh, eleven twelve rebounds a game, six assists a game. Okay. All right. Right now, he's the odds on second in, in in defensive player of the year. Okay, he's the uh, he's right now he's second in defensive efficiency rating in the entire league. Okay, Jokic is like forty fifth. You guys only look at the fucking assists. Okay, but Embiid is only three assists down. Jokic is averaging nine assists. Embiid is averaging six assists. Everything else, Embiid is is demolishing him. Uh, other than rebounding, Every rebounding is the same. All right, let's let's stop it. Let's end it. It's foolishness, and I will not tolerate the foolishness any fucking more. This guy is something different than everybody else. That's just it. And it's okay to admit that. It's okay. Admit you were wrong. It's okay. All right. How many rings? It doesn't matter how many rings. <laughs> but was not a ring guy. I'm not a ring guy. I'm not a ring guy when your team is bad. <laughs> I'm not a ring guy Not only when your team is bad When everybody says the team is bad That's my thing If you tell me James Harden is bad If you tell me Tobias Harris is bad But this is the guy that he those, These are the guys he has Then what do you want? Uh, what, what do you, you expect him to win championships with that? You guys didn't tell me Scottie Pippen was bad You guys didn't tell me Kobe Bryant was bad You guys didn't tell me Jamal Murray is bad You know what I mean? You guys didn't tell me that uh, uh, J. J. Ru Holiday and Brooke Lopez is bad Tell me that these guys on these teams that are winning championships, you didn't tell me Kyrie Irving was bad. You know what I mean? Tell me that these guys are bad, and then uh, then we'll have a different conversation, okay? 
But I'm just telling you what y'all told me. I didn't have I didn't have a big problem with James Harden. I didn't. The world told me James Harden is a bad player. Okay, I, he took a little pay cut for me. I was okay. He took a little pay cut. All right, you know we, we saw what he did. But at the same time, you guys told me he was a bad basketball player. He's not good. He's, he'll never win. Okay, if he'll never win and he's on the same team with Embiid, how, how is he going to win? You just told me James Harden was never going to win. Who are you talking about? Everybody. Okay. The basketball community. Okay. Huh? No, it ain't about picking bones. It's just, it's this, it's this, it's, it's, it's just the main bone. Embiid is the main bone of the NBA right now. It just is what it is. Uh, I appreciate JJ Reddit going out of his way, and 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 because nobody else is talking about it. Okay, this man is averaging thirty five fucking points a game, and nobody else is talking about it. You guys just continue to talk about old ass LeBron James and Jokic, and and how do you not talk about a guy who's averaging 35, 12, and six in the game, and 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 and, and it's playing the type of defense he's playing? How nobody talks about it? That's fucking ridiculous. Because his team has been bad the last three or four years, but he's still dragging him to the playoffs, second well, round. The team hasn't been bad. The, 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 his star players has been bad. His star players have been bad they, they, and they, somewhat unplayable and somewhat G League to overseas type players. They, they, they've they just been a flawed team that, that's not gotten over in the playoffs. I mean, that's that's what they are. Uh, yeah, not a bad team. Yeah. Bad star players. Because when, when you hear me say bad team, I'm only naming a couple of guys. Right, right. right. I you mean, know what yeah, I'm they're, they're just a, yeah, yeah. It's a flawed team. I mean, that's yeah. you. you I mean, ben, ben Simmons essentially sort of mentally disintegrated uh, yeah. as a sixer. Um, then they make the Harden move. And, again, you had a half a season of Harden at a high level, and the team appeared to be a contending team until he kind of nosedived after the All-Star game. Yeah. And I feel awesome because even when we were the number one seed at that half mark when James Jones was playing well, what did I tell you on the show? This is my least favorite 76 team I've ever seen. I've yeah. ever watched. I told you that on the show. You did. Don't like this team. Don't think this team is going to make it far. I know that we're number one in the East. And everybody's saying, oh, watch out for the Sixers. I'm saying don't watch out for them. Because <laughs> I can see the flaws ahead of time. Because it's just like, like I said, when you and Juan went on the show, I said I watch every single game, every single dribble. You guys are like, ah, ah. But, I, but when you watch a team that much and you watch, you could see it ahead of time. And that's what I saw. Well, you and, know, and, when you watch – I mean, I'll say it. When you watch a team – Super closely, um, and I, I do this with the certain teams, and, and well, you know the team too well, yeah. And you know their strengths, but you also know their flaws, and you can pick up things about their pattern of play, or or just the way they're carrying themselves in a given situation, and know what's gonna what's going on. Um, you really get to know a team intimately at that point when you're watching every game. And the last point about Embiid before we move, we're gonna move on to John Moran and Curry really quick. What I love the most about Joel Embiid is anytime I just remember I told you this over the phone a couple weeks ago. Anytime he's going against a premier center, he takes it so fucking personal. He kills every last single one of them. You can you can book it before the game. You can book it on the schedule as you're seeing it out. If he's playing against one of the top centers, Rudy Gobert because he's the best defensive center in the league. Jokic because they lie and say he's the best center in the league. Anthony Davis because he's just supremely overrated. Any one of those guys, had, Bam, um, Amba, uh, uh, Bam from Miami. Anytime one of those guys is on the docket, Embiid is going to go for an outrageous. He's taking it personal. This guy should not be on the fucking universe with me. And he had he had um he had some back and forth with Carl uh, Anthony Towns too. Yeah, but, yeah, when, yeah. When yeah. they were both younger. Yeah. No, I I respect the hell out of that. I love that. I mean, Zion just got got murdered for that because you know, in that. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, he didn't. The yeah. Lakers game. Yeah, he didn't yeah. didn't show up. I mean, yeah. that that is a significant way to measure people. Yeah. Um. That's an that's an alpha trait that not everybody has, but like. You know, um, you know, again, a great player is going to try and make his team win every night. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Uh, right. But even in that context, a great player also has great awareness of who the other alphas are and kind of marks those games and knows, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little bit extra tonight yeah. because whatever, you know, Gobert's allegedly the defensive player of the year or Jokic is this or even, even, even if it's not a direct positional matchup. Like if you don't, Get on the same court with LeBron and feel like you got to bring something your best. 
yeah, you're just not in the right frame of mind. Yeah. You know, that's that's just what it is. 